Welcome to WRC 19, the World Radio Communication Conference being held in Shama Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined this morning in the studio by Dr. Mohamed El Maghazi, who is the Vice Chairman for the Conference Preparatory Meeting for 2023, and he's also the Deputy Head of the Egyptian Delegation to WRC 19. Welcome to the studio. Thanks, Max. Thanks. Now, it's great to have you here, of course, and it's great for us to be here. I wanted to say to you, uh, thank you very much for, for hosting us. It's been a really wonderful conference here, and I think everybody has been extremely impressed by the, the whole organization here, etc. But let's talk a little bit about uh, you and, uh, and about the Egyptian delegation here. How have you seen this conference? How, how important has it been to you to have, have this conference here, and, but also the subjects being discussed here as well? Well, just for us, if you remember 1939, it's all where it's all start. Cairo, first WRC, and now Sharm el Sheikh, 2019, it's also in Egypt, WRC. It's the biggest conference, biggest attendance, I think, of WRC, more than 3,000. And for the Egyptian delegation, we have two main missions. First thing is to take care of the agenda item, make sure consensus is reached on everything, but the second, and maybe more importantly, to make sure everything is fine. So we promised you at the beginning good hospitality, good weather, good food, and I think we've been keeping our promises until today. You've definitely been keeping your promises. What are some of the topics that have been most of interest to you here at WRC19? I think 5G or IMT 2020, this is a very hot issue. And what we are trying to achieve here is to try to have this balance between the future of IMT 5G, but also to protect the current passive services, especially in the 24th band. So again, our mission here is to make sure the future is safe for all the services, and we have this balance between all important uh, radio communication services. Now, also, there's been quite a lot of talk about satellites here. I wanted to ask you, what's been your perspective on that? Well, again, it's all about the balance. And I think until now, there has been good balance between the future of services like eSAMS. And we've tried to accommodate uh, the interest of uh, the satellite community. But let's not also forget about important systems such as HAPS and RLAN. So, it's not about one agenda item or one community like the mobile or the satellite, but to make everybody at the end of this conference equally happy. Let's talk a little bit about connectivity in the region. What's the connectivity landscape here at the moment? I think we've been in very progress, especially if you look at Egypt, and internet connectivity, internet speeds have been grown, especially this year. So I think having WRC in Egypt, that would be also an incentive for us to uh, go and be maybe one of the fastest uh, internet speeds, at least in the region. Egypt also hosted a, a conference on uh, digital financial inclusion, the Fiji conference in, in Cairo this year. I wanted to ask you, uh, what is the uh, situation with regards to digital financial inclusion here in Egypt? Well, I think, again, it was a good start to have the conference here in Egypt, but we're working uh, very closely with all the international uh, partnership. And I think we've been progressing on the matter. And what technology is going to help most in terms of connectivity, do you think, uh, in the next few years? Well, we are not sure, Max, about the future. And our job here, again, is to a certain extent to ensure that we have a chance for all technologies equally in all frequencies band uh, as much as we can, of course. Now, you have been here for about 40 days, you were telling me. Uh, yes. Yeah. I think we've been here almost the same amount of time. I just really wanted to ask you, you're also now going to be involved with the conference uh, preparatory meeting for the next conference, which is in, in 2023. What will you be doing at the CPM? What, why does that come, for, for those who are not in the yeah. know, essentially, why does that come straight after this conference? Uh, surely you've had enough meetings so far. Well, not enough for many. It's just I think some people want to stay in Sharm el Sheikh. We're going to accommodate them next week. But CPM is very important because it accommodates the interest of the wireless community for the next four years. So at the first session next week, we're going to identify what items to be studied for the next four years. We're also going to assign these items to the respectful uh, study groups. And the second session of the CPM, I think maybe it would be in Geneva after four years, 
At that time, we prepared one of the most important documents, that CPM report. CPM report is to help the administrative member states, sector members, to take a decision on the agenda item of WRC 23. And uh, the end of this week, will everybody be going home happy, do you think? I'm not going home. I'm going to go to the beach. I'm going to enjoy the weather. And let me tell you, it's very exceptionally. And we are very lucky, even for Sharm el-Sheikh. Okay, Mohammed. Well, thank you so much for, you uh, so much. for taking the time to, to talk to us today. And uh, thank you once again for, for hosting us on behalf of uh, ITU and for letting us uh, enjoy uh, some of your glorious weather here and, uh, and, of course, your wonderful hospitality. Thank you, Max. Thanks thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you.